Assalamu alaikum. Hello, kids. Insha'Allah, today I am going to tell you one of the most interesting stories in the Quran. It is the story of a prophet who had to spend time in the belly of a huge whale. Can you guess who? Yes. Today, I will tell you the story of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. Now, listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. According to the texts, Prophet Yunus alayhi salam, who was the son of Matta, was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to warn the inhabitants of a town called Nineveh. Nineveh was a very old Sumerian town, perhaps older than 3500 BC. It became the capital of the famous Assyrian Empire. The people living in Nineveh worshipped idols and they disobeyed God. Prophet Yunus السلام, was sent to guide them to worship the one true God and warn them of God's wrath if they disobeyed him. But, in spite of the Prophet's repeated calls, they ignored him and refused to give up worshipping the idols. He tried preaching to them for many years, but the people made fun of him and sometimes even threw stones at him. For a long time, the noble Prophet guided them to the truth in all his sincerity. He warned them that if they kept on with their way of life, Allah's punishment would soon follow. But instead of thanking their well-wisher, they absolutely rejected his message. We are not afraid of your empty threats, said one. If what you are saying is the truth, then ask your God to bring upon the punishment. And they laughed at him. After many years, the Prophet was left with no hope in his heart. He got disheartened and decided to leave the city of Nineveh. He left the disbelievers in their misery and left the city before Allah's punishment came upon them. Hardly had he left the city when the skies began to change their color. The sky looked as if it was on fire. This is what Yunus predicted, one of them started shouting. The Prophet was right. We will be destroyed, just like the people of Ad and Thamud, said another. Slowly, faith penetrated their hearts. We should stop worshipping the idols and pray to Allah said one of the elders. They all gathered on top of a mountain and sincerely implored the Creator for His mercy and forgiveness. The whole valley echoed with their cries. The Lord, most merciful, was pleased. He removed His wrath and showered His blessings and mercy upon them once again. The skies were cleared and back to normal again. The people were very happy now. They now prayed for the return of their well-wisher and prophet Yunus alayhi salam, so that he could guide them to the right path. In the meantime, the prophet had boarded a small ship, trying to get as far away from Nineveh as possible. There were many other passengers in the ship as well. The ship sailed in calm waters all day. There was good wind blowing at the sails. But when it was night, the sea suddenly changed. A horrible storm blew as if it was about to split the ship into pieces. There were huge waves everywhere, and they rose up as high as the mountains, tossing everyone in the ship. The captain of the ship asked the crew to lighten the ship's load. They threw their cargo overboard, but this just wasn't enough. Then they threw all their personal belongings. But this too didn't make any difference. They knew 
that they would be tossed into the sea unless they lightened the load of the ship. We must remove one person from this ship, said the captain. Everyone agreed to this idea, and it was decided to cast lots. The one whose name would be drawn would be thrown into the sea. This was one of the seamen's traditions while facing a storm. Prophet Yunus السلام, agreed, but little did he know about God's plan that awaited him. Behind the ship, a large whale was following them. A command had been issued from God to one of the greatest whales to surface. The whale hurried to the surface of the sea and followed the ship as it had been commanded. When the lot was drawn, the name of the prophet appeared. Since the men knew him to be the most honorable among them, they did not want him to die. Therefore, they decided to draw a second lot. But this time again, the name of the prophet was drawn. The men were surprised, but they decided to give him a final chance. They drew the lot for the third time, but this time too, the name of the prophet was drawn. Prophet Yunus السلام, realized that this was a punishment sent to him by God for abandoning the people of Nineveh. He told them that it was the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asked them to throw him into the sea. The men threw the Prophet overboard and as soon as the Prophet hit the water he was gobbled up by the whale which had been following the ship. The whale then dived to the bottom of the sea. There were three layers of darkness covering the Prophet, one above the other. The darkness inside the whale's stomach, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness of the night. The Prophet at first thought himself that he was dead, but when he realized he could move, he suddenly stood up. He realized that he was alive and imprisoned in the midst of this darkness. The Prophet knew that this was the punishment of Allah. So he cried, There is no God but you. Glory to you, I was indeed wrong. He continued imploring his Lord and Creator. The Lord finally accepted the sincere repentance of his beloved servant. He made the whale go back to the surface and eject the Prophet. The Prophet landed onto an island at the farthest side of the ocean, but his body was inflamed because of the acids inside the whale's stomach. He was severely ill, and when the sun rose, its rays burned his inflamed body. He was on the verge of screaming in severe pain. However, he endured the pain with patience, befitting only the noblest prophets of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a vine grow tall, tall enough to provide him shade from the scorching sun. Soon, the Prophet recovered. He traveled back to his people and his hometown, Nineveh. When he reached Nineveh, he was pleasantly surprised to notice the change that had taken place among the inhabitants there. The entire population turned out to welcome their beloved prophet. One by one, they told him what happened after he had left the town. The prophet was really happy now. He was glad that the people had stopped worshipping the idols, and all of them had turned to Allah. He lived amongst the people of Nineveh and guided them until the time of his death. Did you like the story, kids? I know you did. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification icon to keep updated on the latest videos. Don't forget to share the videos to your friends as well. Inshallah, I will tell you the story 
of one of the greatest prophets in Islam, the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. That's all for today. Goodbye.